time straw. It breaks in half. Heartbreak kid. <laughs> 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 hey guys, it's me, Echo Austin. I'm back with another video. I know I haven't been on YouTube in a long time. It's been about four months since I posted my last YouTube video. But trust and believe me, I've been filming, but I was having some technical difficulties and also, you know, trial and error in real life as well. Been going through some things, but um, here I am. I brought myself to finally come to this point to make this video. This video, I'm gonna be doing a twist out on my hair. I'm gonna show y'all how I do it. Um, so basically, I wash my hair. I use the Garnier Fructis little the green, um, what you call it, shampoo and conditioner. Um, that works just fine. Um, after that, I just put in some of this Johnson's Curl Defining Leave-In Conditioner. It's the kids one. I use this for my kids, but I notice it makes my hair a lot like slicker and easier to manage. My hair is like kind of dry, and when I do my twist outs, I like my hair to be kind of damp, so like kind of dry. Um, you fuck. Kind of wet. <laughs> so like kind of wet. That's what I mean. Okay. I have all the products I'm using today. I'm gonna insert the video in right now. Um. So and I, I could just explain it to you as well so here we got the Cantu avocado hydrating repair leave-in cream um, this has uh, olive oil uh, shea butter and aloe I don't know if I'm saying that right but um this works so good guys like let me just turn that down so you can see this is the shit I love this I use this on all my kids I don't care like what y'all say whatever I do what I want Next thing I got is this. It's um, a Cantu uh, Curl Defining Custard. Um, it also elongates your curls. So I like using this when I do my twist outs. Um, and it's, it's really nice. Like, you can see the texture and it's kind of like that. I use that for my twist. I just started using that. Uh, I think it's, I used to use something like this, but um, I think this is uh, new. Well, it says a new look. Okay, that's what it is then. I love this look though. I kind of just threw this in there. You don't have to use this. Um, this is a moisturizing curl activating cream. I'll use a little bit of this because it's so thick. The fuck? I just threw it. Um, and it's kind of hard. Like um, It's like thick. There's so much of it, but it's still hard for it to come out. And then this here, we got the pink oil moisturizer hair lotion. Yeah, I'm kicking it old school. I've been using this since I was... Uh, two three four years old okay but i'm gonna use this to moisturize my hair um even though it's already kind of moisturized but it's like so dry and i'm just gonna feed it a bunch of product before we do our twist out and then also any coconut oil will do either way either way it's fine but i went ahead i bought this one um this is from palmer's it's a coconut oil formula with vitamin e moisturize boost hair polish serum um this is not optional. We need this to lock in the, um, the moisture. And this is for my edges. Um, it has argan oil in it and it's from Morocco. Uh, perfect edges. I've been using this since high school. Um, this, this is my baby. I love this so much. I got this from Walmart a few years ago. Um, it's supposed to like comb out your curls without damaging them. Um, this as well. And I got this edge thing. Um, I got a cup of water here because my hair kind of dried out while I was setting up everything for the video getting everything together getting the kids together um, but yeah I just got some water so I can dip my fingers in it maybe the brush or something like to because I like my hair kind of damp now that we got all the products let's get right into this video okay so first I'm gonna start by taking my hair out To make it easier to manage, I'm gonna put some of this. I'll do fingertips because I got rings. I also add some of the, the moisturizer so we can have my hair easier to work with, slicker, more moisturized. Everything. Y'all, I'm tender headed, so don't mind if I'm like flinch it up a little bit. This will also help to detangle. It's just that like my ends are dry, but my hair is actually combed out already. I kind of prepared for that before this video. And I like my hair to be super slippery, slippery and easy to manage and like just moisturize. That's how I like my hair, so. 
until I feel like it's like that. I'm gonna keep putting this in there. Perfect. Now we got that out of the way. Now I'm gonna part off my hair. Uh, your parts don't have to be perfect, they don't have to be even. I don't even have like a mirror in front of me. I got my webcam, I guess. But, um... All right, guys, so once I parted my hair, I just go in with the curl activating cream. I massage it in from the tip to the root and make sure that it's all in there and that the hair is smoothed out. You can make sure it's smooth by continuing to glide your fingers through like so. You can also go through it with a comb to make sure it is as smooth as possible. Then I'm gonna go in with some um, of the leave-in conditioner. Get the tips as well. You really wanna just feed this to your hair. Once uh, you've got all the product in and you feel like all the hair is smooth because it needs to be uh, smooth for the curls to come out, you know, nice at the end. So really, I just put some more of that leave-in conditioner on my roots, I'm trying to get them as flat as possible. And then next, I'm gonna go in with the with the custard here. If I could get it open, my fingers are so slippery right now. That's another thing, have all your products open already. <laughs> Cause you're using so much of them. And like, yeah, look, I cannot get this open. <laughs> I don't wanna use my shirt, but I'm probably gonna have to. Here, see, I use my shirt. Okay, so again, now I'm gonna, well, since I left it hang for a while, and you know how my curls be, I'm dapping some water, dapping this, and dapping the custard. That's all I'm doing now. And this helps elongate your curls. It says it on the package. But also, I'll show y'all in the end though, like you can elongate your curls in many other ways. Um, one of them is like you get the blow dryer and then you stretch the hair and you just hold the blow dryer on it with the wide tooth comb for 10 seconds. But anyways, I'm doing two strand twists. So I'm just make, going through making sure that it is staying smooth, straight, and then I'm also kind of doing it tight. They're going to come loose on their own, looser, especially when they dry up. So I'm just trying to do it as tight as possible. You can see the, um, the product spilling out of it, but I don't mind that because that does dry up. And then I'm just going to like grab from that and use it for the rest of my hair. So I'm going to fast forward um, through this part, but basically... The, this this is how you do it. I'm gonna show you me going through my whole head, but I'm just gonna speed it up um, so you don't have to uh, watch. But I'm gonna show you at the ends of each twist, I coil it, um, which is you just wrap it around your finger, and um, that kind of like seals it off. But pretty much after this twist, we're gonna coil the ends, take some of the product out, and then we're gonna put some coconut oil. So I just go like this through the whole thing. Start from the root. This is how I do it, y'all. A lot of people have been asking for this video, like my sisters, my family. So this is how my first twist looks, but hold on, let me put the um, coconut oil so we can lock in the moisture. And you could do that like this, or you, I like to twist it in. I twist everything in, because this is all about twists. All about twisting, if we doing our twist out twist. Okay, and then I'm gonna do that. So here's my first twist guys See? um now let's go ahead and fast forward because i want to put my music on anyway i want to listen to summer walker potential let's listen to that no commercial speech get your bag but not with me
guys make sure you make some twists going that direction it just coil that beach if it's this thin i mean you can twist it if you want should i twist it i don't think i should waste my time twisting it it's gonna be hard to take out but i'm just gonna coil it like this boom curls define my curl look at this so they all look like that anyway when i take it out so anyways guys um towards the end i like to go over the roots with um with the defining custard to help elongate um, the curls but really this is how it looks um, when I'm finished twisting but like this and I might go back and put like some type of conditioner because on my roots because sometimes they be looking like poofy and we don't want the frizz when they do dry you can go back and like you can just go back and do like that coil all your hair like but See, I'm just patting the roots um, with the custard and kind of like pushing it down. Um, if y'all want, you can do your edges right now. Um, this is going to need like 24 hours to dry. Um, sleep with a bonnet on or yeah, yeah, like a bonnet, not no scarf. but um, And then when it's dry, take it down. But I don't need to take it down today. I'll give it its time to dry because I don't have nowhere to go. Anyway, so I'm going to try to do my baby hairs looking in this... Um, um, camera but like I can't really see so don't judge me so I got this brush from like um, beauty supply warehouse who is it and then I go in with this edge control and I'll start at um, the root Brush down and then go like that. Alright, 
y'all. So my camera, um, the memory card is full. So I had to start recording on my phone. But I finished anyway. My baby hairs. I just kind of slapped something together. It look better tomorrow um, once my twist out is out and I can see how exactly it's going to go and I can adjust my baby hairs accordingly. But this is how it looks and I would go out like this, y'all. I think this is popping. My shit, my shit is bouncing. It's moving. It's shiny and it's full of love and life. So I'm not, like, I'm representing all the way natural hair um, girls. <laughs> but okay yeah i messed up a little bit my part's a little bit crooked but i'm still still pulled off i think but um so we're gonna let this dry and um i'll be back with the finished results make sure you subscribe you oh. babe you be like bitch what you saying oh god hey, what did you say <laughs> <laughs> if you say it's a crazy Alright, I need to be I'm just like flexing on my camera. <laughs> it's cool, show it, show it. You look good on camera. Alright, so what to talk about? I want to show them this. I waited 48 hours when I was supposed to wait 24. But side. Your side. I'm scared of Chuck E. Cheese. Did you watch my whole video? Yeah, I watched a bunch of them. There's so many times where I wasn't in engaged with the camera. Hey guys, so we're back. It's been about 48 hours. Um, yeah, I had some problems with the memory card and like my stuff not backing up. So, like literally today, I just decided to order a new one. So this is how the twist look after um, 48 hours <laughs> um, instead of 24. But I'm sure it's not much of a big difference. But we shall see. Um, so I'm gonna go in with some coconut oil and just go over all the twists because we want to bring in the shine so just like this and then guys i forgot to mention when you're taking it apart twist it the opposite way like and then pull it from the top and separate we start unraveling from the top and just gently pull it apart and boom like that we don't want to start from the ends because we don't want any frizz this fruit in my hair from my youngest <laughs> but yeah and then so basically I'm gonna go in and do that to every braid before we I mean to every twist and be, before we start pulling it apart like and actually separating it like I'll show you what I mean but right now for now again just from the root and we're gonna just try to like unravel it like that without what causing minimum frizz and that's also why we use our coconut oil too i'm gonna just go through it with coconut oil because i was taking too long doing it like that but anyways i'm gonna fast forward through this part and that's what we're gonna be doing see i think because i left it in for so long like the ends are not as soft as they would have been if i took it out after um how many? After 24 hours, it would have been exhausted. Never will come ahead of me. You and I making fire, I can take ya. I can make it better, baby. Running away every day, feeling the same in a different way. Guys, I forgot to mention when you're taking it apart, twist it the opposite way. Like, and then pull it from the top and separate Because that, that's just how it falls But I'm over here snapping apart my ends And then I realized I forgot to mention that So make sure you do that So again, reverse it the opposite way of, of your twist And then pull apart from the top <laughs> Sorry my hair 
where I turn my blow dryer on a warm and low setting. I aim it at the roots of my hair and I use a comb to help tease it and stretch it out a little bit. Make sure all your twists are unraveled and undone. Put coconut oil to help retain moisture and reduce frizz. Use your fingers to make sure everything's all apart, all distributed evenly throughout your hair and separate your ends. This will help you achieve a volumized look. That's what I aim for, minimum frizz and as much volume as possible. I continue doing this until my hair looks even and I'm sure that every twist is out. Separating the roots to the ends, basically just stretching it to any direction I like it to go. Going in, stretching those roots, pulling them out with my fingers, making sure each and every twist is unraveled, separating roots, separating ends, and essentially shaping my hair. molding your hair for just a few minutes or seconds to your liking, you are able to get the finished results. Thank you so much and God bless you all.